ten. Good enough? Might just get six. Correct. So, uh, so we're letting we're letting guests. Uh, I'm gonna let. Come on. Uh, you know, our internet connection. Tractor hat. This machine or this system command trailer has a uh, touchscreen display. It's giving you the same exact gauges that you would have in the tractors. We've simulated the same dash pad or dash that you have inside the machine. So all your RPM, fuel, oil temperatures are all highlighted here with your RPM. Uh, we have added in the touchscreen the throttle, implement lock, and part brake. Those are typically switches on the console. So those have been put into the screen now. We have a pitch roll indicator that we don't offer in the machine, but we do offer it here. And that gives the operator a little bit of perspective of how the attitude of the machine is because you're not sitting in the tractor any longer, so you do lose a little perspective of how the pitch and roll of the machine feels. You also have track slip, ground speed, gives you some information uh, for productivity reasons. And then of course you have control of lights, you need the lights. And then when it comes to the controls themselves, basically it's the exact same implement control as you have in the machine. The only difference is instead of having a ripper control over here, we have a trigger with a diverter valve, we can raise and lower the ripper. We have the same uh, control as the blade. Let go of the trigger and pull the lever back and now I've got control of the blade itself. I can tilt, we can pitch. Back, full control just like you would in the machine and then on the right side is your travel control so this is the large track type tractor fingertip control steering device so if I pull we'll go ahead and start traveling here as we move forward I pull on the left paddle it steers left pull on the right paddle steers right I've got a switch here with my thumb called FNR for neutral reverse so I can back up the machine. I can also upshift in the first gear now. I hit the yellow button, upshift the second, and travel. We do limit the remote control systems to second gear. We do not allow third gear travel with these machines right now. And you've got full control, just like you would on the machine. The delay is really no different than the machine itself, so very little latency in the system. Set the part break into the lock, and the part begins ready to go.